everybody. My name is Stephanie and I am a trainer here at the Georgia Aquarium. We are very excited to have you for another field trip Friday. Today we're at the Elsid Habitat. So this is where our puffins, pigeon guillemots, and common murs live. And we're here today because it's really exciting. We are at the very beginning of Elsid nesting season. So we're gonna head to the back and I'll show you more back there. As we're walking, you might notice it's a little dim in the hallways. That's because we're actually have the lights down to save a little energy while we're closed. Okay, so this is the animal care space for the Alcid habitat. We've got everything back here that we need to help take care of them. So I said it's the beginning of nesting season. So what we have here is a variety of different nesting materials. We have some dried lavender, different dried grass, we've got some feathers, twigs, and moss. So what we'll do in just a second is we'll head out to the habitat and actually spread that around so that the birds can pick it up and take it to their nests. All right, so these black boxes that you see on the wall here are actually the nest boxes for the birds. So it's really awesome because they have these doors here that come off. So when there is a bird in there, this one's currently closed, but when there is a bird in there, we can um, feed them and check on them and see if check on the eggs or chicks if they have one in there. And so these aren't always here. They're just here for nesting season. So now we're gonna head out to the habitat and we'll get started. All right. So out here on the habitat, it is a little chilly and that is because they are a cold weather species. Um, this is a, one of the first clues that we are in nesting season is because these birds actually have their breeding plumage. This stark black and white and the colorful beaks, that's gonna clue you in that these horned puffins are ready for nesting season. All right, so what we're gonna do is spread out some of that material and just have the birds interact with it if they choose to. But I wanted to point out those nest boxes that we showed you in the back actually lead to um, actual nest burrows. So you can see there's one in the front of a burrow right there. So that is the burrow they have chosen for this nesting season. And they do form monogamous pairs. So each season, they'll stick with the same pair. And oh, there's another one coming out of a nest box. And they will make that nest and um, lay an egg and hopefully have a chick with the same pair and they are um, they do co-parent so when they have that chick they are going to take care of it together really cool thing about um, alcids is that they actually feed their chicks fish instead of regurgitating food to them like other some other species of birds might do so it makes it really nice um, and a lot easier to help raise a chick right there behind that puffin that came out of the nest box is a dark gray puffin. And she is the same type of bird as the one with the nice long blonde tufts, but her name is Waffles and she is a juvenile. She hatched here last year at the Georgia Aquarium. We've had four puffins hatch here at the Georgia Aquarium, but she hatched last year. And so she's a juvenile and she won't get her breeding plumage just yet because she's too young. So that's why she looks like that. Some of those different noises that you've heard throughout this time has been some of the different murs and guillemots actually doing courtship behavior. So they'll vocalize to one another. That's a pigeon guillemot. Um, they'll vocalize to one another. They might make different posturing or head bowing, head shaking, things like that, just to kind of see if somebody's interested. All right, well now we're gonna get to the cool stuff and I'm gonna lay some of this nesting material out. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just kind of laying it down and seeing what they might be interested in. I'm gonna put some down over here for these guys. And they just can kind of pick, pick whatever they want. It looks like 
This one's maybe a little interested, so I'm gonna put some over here. Hi guys. All right. So now after this is all out, I'm gonna kinda just like back off a little bit and give them the opportunity to investigate and see what they'd like to pick up. So not only this is, an, is this a natural behavior, and you can see those birds up top, are, they look a little bit more interested. Before they were just kind of um, hanging out, but now they're kind of checking out what I put down. So not only is this a natural behavior, it's actually a form of enrichment as well. They don't get nesting material every day and only during nesting season. So for them to be able to kind of investigate and pick up stuff and choose what they might be interested in is definitely enriching for them. When it's not nesting season for alcids, they are going to be a pelagic species, which means they're gonna stay out in the ocean. They're not gonna come up on land. They only come up on land to make their nests and to have chicks. Once an egg is laid, that egg is gonna be incubated once again by both parents for about 40 days. After that, we're going to have hopefully a chick hatch. So here at the Georgia Aquarium, like I said, we've had four alcid chicks hatch and we're very hopeful that we've got, um, or that we will have more this year. So it looks like Hurley is interested in maybe picking up some different material and that's really awesome. It's really fun to see he's getting a big mouthful of it. <laughs> um, and then he's gonna hopefully take it to his nest. So th thank you guys for joining us for another field trip Friday here at the Georgia Aquarium. If you're just tuning in, we are in the middle of talking about alcid nesting season. Hurley is a tufted puffin. He has got that big mouthful of nesting material right there. And then hopefully he'll make his way to his nest. It's really exciting to see them. So the different, actually the MERS, which is gonna be that larger black and white bird, will not go into the burrows. They'll just make their nests on the ground. So they'll find a space, collect different material, and nest right there on the ground. He looks like he's gotten enough and he's gonna maybe make it over to his nesting space. That's his mate Roxy up top. It looks like she might be coming down to join in. really cool to see them interacting with that, the different pairs. These guys don't look like they realized it yet that we put some out. They're still just in their burrows. That's totally cool. Oh, yep, it looks like, so he'll probably head up that way and then fly over to his nest. So that's really awesome to see. And like I said, they'll make those nests in those burrows. And then in about 40 days after they've laid an egg, hopefully a chick will hatch. So that's Reef with a mouthful there. Oh, she, <laughs> she made it part of the way to her house. But there goes Hurley over on the top. He's making his way up um, with, the, with that mouthful of nesting material. He got a, he got a good one this time. <laughs> so he's gonna turn the corner and go right into his nest once he figures out how to get all that in there. <laughs> awesome job, Hurley. Great, so he'll arrange that in, into that nest box and then we'll hopefully have an egg laid shortly. All right guys, well, I'm gonna give them a chance to collect more of that material and make those nests and hopefully in the future we'll be able to connect with you again in social media and talk to you about some eggs or chicks that we might have. We really appreciate you tuning in for another Field Trip Friday. If you're looking for even more educational, fun content, check out the hashtag ATL Museums at Home for other information from different places around Atlanta. Once again, thanks guys for coming and enjoy the rest of your day.